Hey guys, it's your girl Jilly. I know it's been a while since I've done a car video, but you know, you guys know I don't do my video scripted. I just do it straight from memory. So I figured why not do a video right before I have to start work, which is in like 20 minutes. So we're gonna move on to Gemini and Aquarius compatibility. Now remember, if this does not resonate with you or the Gemini Aquarius that you are interested in, please remember to check out the birth chart. You're looking for the Venus, Moon, and Mars sign. Venus is how we love and what we're attracted to. Um, moon is how we express emotions. And Mars is our sex drive. Now let's get started. Their rulers, Gemini's ruler is Mercury, the planet of intellect and communication. Aquarius's ruler is Uranus, the planet of rebellion. Their elements, they both share the element of air. When two air signs get together, it is a whirlwind romance. Now, these two, my goodness, this is a, such a marvelous, fantastic, fun relationship. What attracts these two to one another? Aquarius, when they're looking for somebody, they're looking for someone unique, an individual. They don't want somebody who blends in with the crowd. They don't want the most popular person, the most likable person. They want an individual. And that's what they find in Gemini. Because even though Gemini has a lot of, I don't want to say friends, I want to say Gemini has a lot of acquaintances. They're, they don't really have a lot of deep friendships because they are different. They have two people within them so they're they're not exactly the same consistent person so this is what attracts Aquarius to Gemini Gemini is very different and Gemini is attracted to Aquarius because Aquarius is so unconventional so unique some people even say weird but that's different and Gemini likes different and this is what attracts Gemini to Aquarius now what makes them so compatible they're both very communicate communicative. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm a Gemini. I'm supposed to be able to communicate, right? But yes, they communicate very well with each other. Now, Gemini needs a type of person who can talk and have conversations, but not just conversations, somebody who can change topics. And Aquarius does that. The conversations between these two never end and neither do the topics. Now, Gemini likes to learn and discover new things. And Aquarius is a perfect teacher. This is a teacher-student relationship. And you know, Aquarius is not very used to being a teacher or showing people new things. So when Aquarius discovers that they're doing this for Gemini, Aquarius appreciates this and they feel valued and they feel, you know, worthwhile to somebody. And Gemini gives that feeling to Aquarius. Now, because Aquarius, you know, Aquarius and Gemini both have large social circles. But because Aquarius is so different and so unique, you know, they don't ever really feel comfortable enough to be themselves around everybody. But when they find Gemini, it's like they feel like home. They feel so comfortable. They can open up their weirdness and their uniqueness to Gemini and have no fear of being judged. So they found their best friend in a partner. And you know, Gemini is always looking for change and Aquarius provides this for Gemini. You know, when they go out on dates, you know, for example, if Aquarius and Gemini are looking to go to a movie, Aquarius is not gonna take Gemini to a movie theater. They're probably gonna find a projector, put the movie on a big sheet in, a, in, in the yard with a picnic. And it's so different and so unique. And these are the type of dates Aquarius provides for Gemini. And Gemini loves this. You know, these two are probably going to go to an arcade on a first date. <laughs> so they love this about each other. Now, when it comes to cons in the relationship, I don't really want to say they're cons, you know, because... Yeah, there's differences, but, but these two, they can pretty much easily overcome everything, but there are some cons. Aquarius is a fixed sign. Uh, fixed signs are pretty stubborn in their ways. They have, pretty have their minds set on one thing, and Gemini is a very mutable sign, so they're more open to compromise, and, you know, when Gemini wants to do something and Aquarius doesn't, you know, it's really frustrating for Gemini like how come you never want to compromise I always compromise for you why don't you compromise for me <laughs> you know but like I said because they both can communicate 
they're very easily overcome. The other con is these both both of these signs are risk takers. You know, and Gemini is very impulsive and they just want to go ahead and take the risk. Now, Aquarius, even though they're down to take a risk, they want to actually analyze and think things through, which, you know, causes impatient Gemini to be like, oh, you know, come on, Aquarius, why are you thinking overthinking things? You know, and this is where they can probably squabble a bit. And like I said before, it's very easily overcome with these two. So that's pretty much the gist of their cons. Now, when it comes to the bedroom, okay, they're exactly alike in the bedroom, exactly alike. These two do not like routine. They do not like the same old thing. They like to experiment. Aquarius is kinky, y'all. Very, very kinky and loves toys. Gemini likes to experiment and role play and try different things. So whatever creative ideas Gemini throws out there, Aquarius is all about it. Not to mention they communicate a lot during sex. And I don't, I'm not talking about full-blown conversations, even though it can happen between these two. They communicate with each other what they like, what they don't like. So they have a very satisfying sex life. And when they're done, they're probably they're going to discuss how great the sex was afterwards. <laughs> so yes, very compatible match. If I had to describe this this couple, this is these are two best friends in love, basically. Two best friends in love. Again, I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. That helps motivate me to put the videos out there quicker. Helps motivate me to keep putting videos out there for you. If you want to support my channel, you can always make a donation to the link below. I will provide that um, after this video. And also follow me on Instagram. I do take votes for future compatibilities um, on particular zodiac signs. I'm actually taking vote votes right now for the next zodiac sign in a compatibility series so make sure to follow me there if you want to have your say so peace i love you guys thanks